Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. I purchased this collection of Crayola Sally Hansen Insta Dry Polishes quite a while back and I never did any kind of review or anything. So I thought I would just swatch them because that's what I bought them for was for stamping. Um, I won't go through like all the names just all here at once but at the end I will have swatch photos with the name that lines up with each one of them. So I have all the bottles open. I've got some little pop sticks ready, of course, including cotton fur. Wouldn't be a video of mine without some cotton fur. So I'm gonna just use this plate that I had sitting out, and this is the BPL050, just used it in a mani. So I've got my beauty scraper, beauty scraper, and my little monocle stamper, so I'm just gonna get into it. And I'm gonna put them in number order and uh, just go go with them that way. How about that? So I'm not gonna make this video too awful long, I hope. And we're just gonna pick them up and plop them on. Look how amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry about that. I had to get a paper towel out and dim the lighting. But look at that. The lighting's still messing with it. But I will have swatch photos at the end. So that was 601, and now we're going to go on into 602. These are just insanely wonderful for stamping. I just really think that they're insane. I am cleaning that stamper off in between. Next we've got 603. And I will give the names and everything at the end. I just figured it would be better to just do them. Oh my god. I'm so impressed. Now, I couldn't find these in my local store, so I had to hop on, I think it was e eBay. I call it Evil Bay eBay or Amazon to get them, and I found them in a set, but I couldn't get all of them. And they said it was a set, so I thought I had all of them, but upon further inspection, I realized that there was one missing, so I had to go out and buy it separately. Now, that wasn't a real good color combination, but it's stamped like a dream. I just pulled out some tips that I had done swatches for. <clears throat> And next we've got 605. Oh, I skipped this one. Let's get back in there. Crazy girl. But a lot of metallic nail polishes like this do stamp really well. Now let's put this one on this tip. Again, maybe not just the greatest of color combinations, but it's totally showing up beautiful. Beautiful. Like if it was on your real nails, you would totally see that. Okay, next we have 606. And I'm just so excited to get around to actually playing with these. But you can see, they're just doing an amazing job. Ugh, oh, I just love it. So I've got eight tips ready, so I will have to pause the video here in just a moment though, so that I can add some more tips to another round of these. This green is gorgeous, and it's the 607. Like I said, I didn't want to put them in any like name order. That would have taken me quite a while. <laughs> oh, I love the green when it stamps like a... They all stamp like a dream. I don't know who I'm fooling. If I can find my link where I bought mine, if they're still selling them, I will leave that down below. <clears throat> and if not, you know, maybe your stores have them. I don't know. I, I, I never saw them at any of my stores locally. That's why I had to hop on some internet. I love that. Oh, so much, so much. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> okay, so that was 608. I'm going to skip over one because my next nail is kind of a blue nail. And I'm going to use this more silvery color over it because the next one's kind of like a purpley blue. I don't want it to 
not be able to be seen. Oh, and then that's not really super fantastic, but it's stamped great. Okay, so I'm going to get some more nail tips ready, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got them tips ready, so we're ready to go. Um, this next one here is a 609. I'm about to make a mess with it. Beautiful. These are beautiful polishes. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm going to do this one. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad I got these. Um, I didn't never mention it on my channel, but I went on a hard core no buy. And I know y'all have heard me say that before, but I really seriously have not purchased anything in a couple of months. That's why there have not been any haul videos. These were bought before that happened. And uh, so I figured I would go ahead and share them. I'm going to do this one on here. Look at that. Just so impressed. And these were not sent for review, like I said, I bought them, so I'm not just blowing smoke here, y'all. And we're going to do one more, the last one. I have not done good with numbers, or and I didn't tell any names. So, like I said at the end, if you want to know that sort of thing, they will be listed along with the swatch photos. Fantastic. That is just gorgeous. So, I'm going to uh, just call this a winner, winner chicken dinner. This was just a beautiful experience. Um, if you find these in your stores, highly recommended that if you're a stamper, you may want to pick some of them up, if not all of them. I mean, it's, you know. The thing about these are they're reasonably priced. I mean, even for what I paid on line for them, I didn't feel like I was getting cheated. And I knew that they would stamp great. I just could tell by the way they looked. <laughs> so that is it for me today. I, like I said, I'm going to have a little slideshow of uh, swatch photos of these coming up here soon. And I hope you enjoyed these. Let me know if you found any of these in your area and if you got any of them. Uh, leave me a comment otherwise. I always love hearing from you. I want to thank you all for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.